Hello, and welcome to Fragment Friday, which is a meme hosted by James at Book Chic. And it's where we read passages from our favorite books or our current reads. And this week I'm reading from The Wicked House of Rohan. Um, and it's by Anne Stewart. It takes place in Venice. I reviewed it uh, a few weeks ago on my blog, and it's a romance novel. So the setup is that this young woman, Miss Strong, is down on her luck, and she shows up to accept this governess position, and she finds herself in a bad situation full of these unscrupulous um, Englishmen alone in the middle of Venice. As I was saying, he continued, his high nasal voice only slightly slurred, Miss Strong is a virtuous gentlewoman fallen on hard times. She arrived in Venice four months ago and as the governess to the children of Mr. and Mrs. Brandon. After two months, she was summarily turned out for improper behavior. She was able to secure another post, which lasted less than a week, once Mrs. Brandon had paid her new employers a visit. Since then, she's been aching out a living with English and Italian lessons and the occasional fine needlework. As you can see, the perfect impoverished English gentlewoman. Marblethorpe was like a cat with a mouse. He liked to torture any poor creature he managed to capture. Usually Alistair didn't mind. In fact, he didn't mind now, he told himself, watching her. Would you tell us why you were dismissed, Miss Strong? Jasper Fenton was slightly less drunk than the evening's ringleader and therefore able to form a coherent sentence. She ducked her head again, her shoulders bowed, but she looked up at that. Gross immorality, sir, she whispered. Damn, Wesley, we need a virgin, not a blasted, soiled rose, Lord Maxwell, Maxwell protested. Hush, Maxwell, Mabel Thorpe said. Give the upright and pure Miss Strong a chance to defend herself. Were you, in fact, guilty of these immoral transgressions? No, sir. Her voice wasn't much more than a whisper. She drained his glass of wine, Alistair noticed, and she was cling clinging to the empty glass so tightly that he thought it might snap. It would cut her hand if he did, but he decided he'd used up his full allotment of Christian mercy for the next decade, so he waited. Are you, in fact, a virgin? Maxwell continued. She looked at Mabel Thorpe then, and he'd never seen anyone look more defeated in his life. I was inquiring about a job as governess to your little sister, Sir Wesley. I assure you that despite Mrs. Brandon's unfortunate misapprehensions, I am more than capable of providing a moral and challenging education for your sister. A bit late for that, Wesley said cheerfully. Elspeth's married with two brats, and she's been having affairs since she got back from her honeymoon. I expect every man in this room has had her at one time or another. There is a chorus of drunken essence. Alistair said nothing. He'd been the first, seducing her away from her older husband out of boredom. If he hadn't, the next man would have, he thought, still watching the drowned kitten before him. No, that wasn't quite it. A drowned cat. There was a flash of real fire in her eyes. Then if you aren't in the need of a governess, why, pray, am I here? In fact, we are in need of a virtuous woman, Wesley announced. A virgin, in fact. And it sounds as if rumors to the contrary qualify. She said nothing, waiting. Well then, Wesley continued, only slightly ruffled by her lack of response, we both appear to have problems that are easily solved. You're in need of money to discharge your debts and pay passage home to London, am I right? He didn't wait for an answer. And you have a commodity that interests us, one we're willing to pay highly for. Your virginity. 
She started to rise, but Mapplethorpe dropped his hand on her shoulder, push, pushing her back down. Alistair rose then, ambling across the room, and removed Wesley's thick hand. If we're doing this, and apparently we are, she needs to agree to it without any coercion from you. And that's it. So hopefully you'll join me for another Fragment Friday, whenever the next one is.